Hey, what's up, Matt's Garage? I believe on a previous episode you saw I got the front uh, bodywork assembled. I actually bought this uh, scratch and dent fender from Tom's for like, I don't know, 130 bucks or something. The flaw in it is not a big deal to me, so I'm just going to work with it and uh, replace my fender, which will save me a whole lot of trouble patching that rear corner. And I'm assembling the rear body now, basically the entire rear body. Let me show you what I've done since... Uh, since the last video. I've cut out the parts of this body I'm going to use, which is the windshield to cowl piece, main piece there that goes across, and then the top of the firewall here, and then this piece. That piece is like 60 bucks, so for me it was in good shape. It's worth cutting out and reusing. I was planning on reusing the cowl, but those things were mangled, so I couldn't get them out uh, without mangling them. On to the body. So I'm just mocking stuff up. You know, you'll see little details here, like you see it doesn't sit flush there because this has a, a lip. So I just got to notch that so it sits down and sort of figure out the right distance back here. And then yeah, I got my four pieces here. I'm just figuring like this, for example, this piece, this is the piece that sits on top of that body mount. Okay. And, and the Bronco, it's got a riser tube here and that keeps you from crushing when you clamp down on your body bolt and I think that's kind of necessary even though this one doesn't have that I'm gonna go ahead and just weld it in with some tube stock I had around the garage and yeah just getting a feel for the stuff how it goes together I think this idea of referencing the old body there while I build the new body it feels right it feels like it's gonna be okay I think the main thing is just make sure that bed is square All right, for the next step, I'm just mounting this uh, cross brace in here. Now, it sits flush on this side, okay? It should sit flush on both sides, but you can see here, it's a little wider. So I'm just debating whether or not to bend that tab in or actually shave it. So, and then one thing I noticed is on the, on the stock Bronco, this is dimpled up so that when it sits, it's not flush here. So you can slide in a, um, a tab a nut tab and the purpose of that nut tab is for the original um, rear bench seat to bolt down I believe these are the seat belt these are the seat belt bolts you're looking at the underside of the, the truck now obviously so these are the seat belt inserts and those are the front seat bolts but I think these are for the rear seat bolts and I'll show you on the Bronco it's not super clear but it's right in that region there. So I think I am gonna shave a little bit off of each side so it fits in center. I'm just thinking maybe a one weep hole on either end and that way if water does get up in there it's got a place to go. One thing I don't have a feel for is will this Harbor Freight uh, spot weld punch make it through? Yeah, it makes it through. The problem with these is it's not very deep I don't know that it matters, but hey, it punches through the metal, so that's good. Heck, that makes prep almost fun. Now that I have all the um, spot weld holes punched out, I'm just gonna make sure I'm lined back up here, square, and then just scribe each hole because I'll know where to grind the coating off. So here's my dilemma. Um, it's A, a ton of work, so it's kind of hard to film and do this work at the same time. And B, I don't know how interesting it is. 
how many of you guys are going to be building a body from scratch? I really, I don't, I don't know what's useful and what's not. So I'm debating on how much to actually show you guys of like the, making the sausage, right? Sometimes people just want the sausage. You don't, you don't want to see how it's made, right? So I don't know. What do you guys, what do you guys think? I mean, uh, actually, don't answer that. Don't answer. You can be 50 different opinions. And I'm going to do what I'm going to do anyway. I mean, like at the end of season three, I asked, am I sure I do body work or mechanical? And then as soon as I stopped filming season three, I started doing the body work. You know, I just, I just follow my instincts on this thing. I'm, I'm winging it as I go. It's a ton of work. I'm really happy that the Bronco, uh, Tom's Bronco parts panels are like pretty decent quality. So everything I'm getting so far has been very good and fits very well and is close to the original. Cause, and that's the nice part about having the body there is I match up, go back and forth. I know it kills you guys that I'm letting a body out, sit out there and rust, but it's my life, man. Do what I want. I do what I want. Uh, if anybody wants that old body after I'm done with it, you're welcome to it. And yeah, so I'm going to get to work, Clico in that, that seat section, then I'm going to start building it out from there. All right, wish me luck. So it's been a couple hours of my life that I'll never get back. And uh, I just want to show you some of the challenges I'm having with this body here. So I've got the floor sort of clecoed in and it's bolted down on that side. That's fine. And I've got this front cross brace in and, and bolted down to my, my bushings. Now, I'm trying to get this tunnel fit up, right? And when I get it flush on that side, you see how it's clamped on? I've got a, quite a gap on that side, okay? So I went and looked at the body, and you can see there actually they they cut they cut this lip here and they bent this in to meet up with the tunnel. So I'm thinking that might be the same thing I have to do here is basically cut this and then I have that flangey tool that'll bring it um, in just enough. That see that's too much for body filler or for a seam sealer there. So I need to somehow get that in more. And then the other problem I found is, check this out. There is no way, where am I going, sorry. Yeah, you see this gap here? That's not getting filled. So this, this uh, brace is not cut to the right height. I've heard, heard, that sometimes the 4R70W transmission, which is the overdrive transmission I'm using on this build, interferes with that brace. So once I get the tunnel figured out and I get the floors in, I'll click all that in, take it all apart, put the engine, the transmission, and the, um, the transfer case adapter on, put the cross member in, mount the whole thing into the, the, the frame, and then see if I have any interference issues. I'd rather find out now than later once I actually put some primer or something on. So now I could run a body lift and that would solve that problem entirely. But I don't want to run a body lift. That's not my build plan. So I'm not gonna. Well, you could just like run a rusty old Bronco. Nothing wrong with that. Lots of people do it. Uh, stupid me, I'm trying to make it all new and stuff, but uh, this is the price you pay on Matt's Garage. Poor Scout, man. Used to have a nice cush parking spot in Southern California. And it is just pouring rain, man. Look at that. Oh, God. But, on the bright side, it's starting to come together. I mean, this is all just kind of mocked up super rough. I just want to start to understand how the panels come together. Obviously, the boat or whatever, you can see it's not uh, level. That's a little better. Put some supports underneath. It's getting to level. What's nice is the rockers basically provide almost the level. Um, yeah, wow, looks so good with the rockers on there. The inner rocker there. All right, that's enough fun for one day. Um, time to clean up, put everything away. But, you know, it really encouraging day getting the whole floor basically assembled and hanging the rockers, the inner rockers. 
my distance rocker to rocker is correct so that's the same as that as the, the original body um, I have to make sure it doesn't flare out at all as it comes up probably the the hardest to fit part so far well there's two the the, the seat support section is pretty difficult because it's so long and it's relatively thin gauge that it's really wavy so that one's a bit tough and plus there's only the the rear section has the two uh, body mounts but the next two body mounts are part of the where your feet go so when you're mocking it up there's no real support if you're building the body like I am so I've had to like shim it up and try to get it level and then the floor pans themselves um, there's nothing wrong with them but floor pans like this they have lots of extra lip on them have a lot of lip on you because they need to um, people they don't know who, how, how you're going to use it you're going to cut it out and patch it how much rust you're going to have so they give you extra metal which is good but then when you're mocking it up it's tough and I'm not at the point where I'm ready to trim anything I don't know it's definitely a learning process and, and, and I got to tell you it's great that I've gotten this far but I have zero confidence I'm going to get this thing square man I mean people have warned me about it and they are right people are right it is extremely difficult to get this thing square I have no idea how I'm going to do it it's much better to just work with what you got but what would anybody learn from that there's lots of videos about that I haven't seen any videos like this where you're building a body from scratch on a Bronco don't send me any links to ones either I don't want to see them Next time, Matt's Garage.